God damn. It's raining hard as fuck. And this dude, Henry, five minutes away. And it's raining hard. Good thing I got. I bought this raincoat. I'm gonna need this. God damn. You can hear that rain going off right now. Sheesh. Well, I got my protection on. God damn. This is a bad time to do this shit. Yo. What's up, man? Yo, you, you can ride in this rain like this? It's pretty natural in Vietnam. All right, fuck it. Right, we going scooter shopping now. Hopefully I can find a scooter. God damn, it's coming down right now, bro. Look at this shit. Damn, what's going on over here? Hey, yo, before we go any further with this video, let me put y'all on an LA highlight. If you need that Cali Za, and you anywhere in the United States, I don't care, Portland, Massachusetts, LA, New York, Florida, wherever, wherever you at, now you can get the Cali Za, Cali price without going to Cali. Hit the link in the description, let them know China Max sent you, and get that Cali Za. Let's get it. The rain stopped a lot. It just rains really hard, real fast, and then like it just stops, right? Pretty good to be honest with you, because usually it's really hot, so during this time it would be. It's like, cooled off. Uh -huh. It should be somewhere around here. Over here? This looks like a. Is it here? Oh, this looks like it. Oh, yeah, this is definitely it. This is a nice little spot over here. I don't think, I don't think it's 50 cc. It's like. Oh, you don't think they have 50 cc? Well, let's ask them. You never know. Let's just ask them. Yeah. Let me take this condom off of me, man. Here, bike, right? Uh huh. Let's do it right here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what they got in here, Henry. Maybe I could walk off with a motorbike today. Hello, how? Oh, uh, looking for a motorbike. Uh, for how long, please? Huh? For how long, please? What, for how long? Will you rent them? Uh, depends. One day or a month or a year. Do you just rent it or do you sell it? Uh, we do both. But yes. right now we don't have many for sale. We oh. want for a, a lot of time only. I need a 50cc though because I don't have a... a uh, we don't have 50cc. You know? We only do bigger size and yeah. a big bikes. Uh, but we have the um, e scooter drive 50 km per hour and no requirement system in Suzuki. And that's for rent? Yeah, for rent. Let me uh, see it. See that's an electric bike, uh, don't require a license because I go on the 50 per hour. <laughs> Damn. You're looking at something different. Yeah, I, I think I might look a little gay coming off of that, no? <laughs> She's laughing at me. If you go for 50 cc, you will anyway. They're saying I can't get a license because I don't have a, uh, a long enough uh, uh, visa. visa. Residence. Right. Yeah. I only have a three month visa. Mm -hmm. So they're saying I can't get a license. Yeah, you can. I can't. Mm -hmm. I have an international driver, but. You do? I do. Okay. Because with the IDP, we can rent it. We can rent bikes if you need one. So if I have an IDP, you can rent the bike to me? Yeah, probably like something. Hmm. What if, I, what if I wanted to buy one? Because I want to trick it out. Like I want to buy one for three months and then sell it again. Yeah, sell it, yeah, something. I don't know. I might take it with me. Take it with you to the US. <laughs> Oof. Uh, well, you can buy or rent. doesn't matter. Uh, but you, you don't have anything for, for sale? Uh, those two outside. Uh, are they used or are they new? They're used. Um, adventure bikes. So basically made for all kind of terrain off-road on on-road and they have storage as well for long trips oh, how like much are these bikes. uh we're selling the one with the saigon plate for 140 million and this one for 130 million hanoi plate 140 130 yeah how much is that in american what the fuck is uh, that uh that works out around five thousand five to six thousand dollars i think Six thousand dollars. Yeah. Right, that's a little more than what I'm trying to spend. So, what do you have for rent? Can I see what you have for rent? Everything is inside there. Everything. Uh, oh, so this is more like a renting. I, I would recommend a blue one. Yeah, we are. You recommend a blue one? Hello. I didn't even ask. What's your name, brother? Renzo. Renzo. This yeah. is your spot. Yeah. Where are you from? From Peru. Peru. Yeah. Oh shit. 
Oh, what's your name? Lang. Lang, huh? Lang. Lang, nice to meet you. So this is a small mountain bike. So now this is small. This one is small. It's like one. This is small. Yeah, this, this is, is small. This is the 150, 150cc. That shit look like mean though, I ain't gonna lie. You almost kill me with the 100cc's. And how many cc's is this? 155. And for example, this one has a very interesting property. Is that you can put your foot all the way up to extend your leg. So most scooters you will sit like this, mm -hmm. and you will stand kind of straight in a 90 degrees uh, angle on your leg. Yeah, yeah. But this, but this one, one you can, can put extend it. It's a cruising bike, uh -huh. so you can extend your legs and be more comfortable on the ride. So oh. basically, it's good for your long ass leg. And how much is this for rent? This one for one month we do six million per month. So that's around 250 US. Per 250 month. US. Yeah, these are one of the highest uh, end ones. We do have you have something ranges. like this but different color, or is it? Uh, no, there's no there's no supply for this one, so oh. this is it. This is it. This is very expensive one, so we only have one of this. Staying in the higher end, in the premiums, we have the SH150. So this is kind of the most popular premium bike in Vietnam. So we have this one as the SH, same price as the PCH160. This is six million per month or two hundred fifty dollars. Everything else is cheaper. How is it? It's good. Can can. Can you try the uh, the other one? Which one? one? Can, can you try the other one? Uh, which one? The one that's available tomorrow. Uh, I've been acting Thai, huh? You speak Vietnamese? Yeah. Oh shit. Are you half Vietnamese? Uh huh? Ah no, we cannot now uh, because oh, okay. I need to wait for tomorrow when it, the other one comes back. Oh okay. That one is going to be fixed, so with the rain, if you get water inside, it won't be. All right, all right, all right. Sorry about that. No, it's all good. But this one is good, you think? I can guarantee that it, it is not look gay at all. You can <laughs> uh, well, if you look at the reviews, we are known to have bikes in good condition. Right. I like the grill. This shit look mean. It look like a transformer. All right, bro. Uh, I guess let me let me think about it, and then I'll, I'll hit you guys back. Yeah, sure. Okay, you got a card or something? Yeah. All right, so off we go. Yeah, yeah, so bad. Oh, it started raining again. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah, put on your condoms in. Alright, so another scooter adventure. Hopefully, we can uh, seal the deal on one soon. But right now, let's pull up to a coffee shop, bro, while there's rain. Wait for this shit to slow down a little bit. All right, man, let's get some coffee while we wait for the rain to settle down. Hello, brother. Oh. Damn. So how long does the, how, lo how long is the raining season? Mm, usually it would start from, usually it would start from July till January. So all the way to January. Mm -hmm. Is that is this considered like the winter month? Yeah, it because in so this is like your winter. Mm -hmm. Basically, because basically in Vietnam we don't we don't have all four seasons like uh, autumn, fall, winters or something like that. We only have two seasons: the dry seasons and the, the rainy seasons. season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is the rainy seasons. Nice shirt, bro. Thanks, man. That's hot chocolate. Uh -huh. That's hot chocolate. Nothing yeah, beats nice. nothing beats a hot chocolate on a rainy day. Thank you. Can I send this to Lucy? Yeah, send that to Lucy. Oh, damn. You think it's gonna stop raining anytime soon? I hope so. Because I'm getting tired here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's raining so hard. That's crazy. W were you just joking the other day? Are you really gay, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? Um it was actually a joke. So this is a complete joke. Uh-huh. But I can act I can act gay if you want. No, I actually don't want you yeah. to act gay. Do you joke like that a lot? Sometimes. But right. I just feel like I need to do whatever it takes to make money. Yeah, because, but uh, I feel like But not there's certain things that you shouldn't like sell. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Certain things aren't for sale. I got a question for you. Right. Uh Cause oh, this tea is banging. Was it good? Mm. 
This tea is really good. It's herbal tea. It's really good. It's for really good. It's really good for your sleep. All right, so back to your question. What's your question? Well, uh, the other day I saw like a guy we met at the bar, right? Remember? So it was like he really. Well, I was there. Hmm? What do you mean? You met a guy at the bar? No, we met a guy at the bar. Remember? Before we going up to the bar at the 75 floor. We met a guy. A guy like of your fan, remember? Oh yeah 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 uh, yeah yeah. Uh. So he was like really delightful to meet you. Um, so he like do all things like a handshakes, some greetings, and have a pictures with you. And I I was think I was thinking that how what like oh, do you have like any advice for me like to be uh, to help me like gain more respects from others. Especially um, Lucy's. Well, you feel like Lucy doesn't respect you? Sometimes, I guess. I mean, I just feel like uh, sometimes she's looking down on me because I, I know that she's sometimes she's not mean it, but I can feel it somehow because she she's making more money than me. She's more beautiful. She's more attractive. So I think that. Sometimes I had a feeling that she's looking down on me. I, I don't know if it's true or not. It's just that I'm feeling, you know, really insecure about it. Mm. Just, but so. you said last time, you said, is that a trait that she has? Like that she kind of does that to everybody and not just you? I mean, she would be really polite and respect strangers. But I mean, I'm in a relationship with her right now. And it's like... She, I don't have, I don't gain enough respect in this relationship as a man. It's like she's looking down on me. She's mm. not, you know, relying on me or something like that. I, I don't think I have enough respect in this mm. relationship. So it's like, I, I really need, I really need the advice, man. Mm. Man, well, I think number one is like back to what I was saying before mm. with the whole playing the gay thing. That's just one thing. Yeah. But there's certain things that we do and women look at that. Like I like I said, the natural order of a man is to be the protector, is to be the provider, is to be the more dominant one. Women naturally look for men to for guidance, for like, you know, for security. So you have to ask yourself where are you at when it comes to the natural need of a woman? Mm -hmm. does, does that make sense? Yeah. Like, cause, cause two things that women need from a man is security. That's the main thing, right? They wanna feel secure with, with the man. They wanna feel like the man can take control. Mm -hmm. Not all the time, not be fully in control and control with them what to do. They don't want that, mm -hmm. but they want to know that when it's time for you to take control, you take full control. Like, they 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 yearn for that. They really when when they see that, oh man, they fucking you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. and if they don't see that, you'll start feeling resentment. You know what I'm saying? And not person. I don't think they do it, you know, um, intentionally, but they do it just naturally. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So. It also means that most women like they act based on the emotions, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, because sometimes I think that Lucy's also judge, like judge me based on how I look. So let's say on a scale from one to ten, how do you rate my look, like my appearance, something like that? Bro, I'm not gonna rate you. First of all, <laughs> I, I don't rate men. <laughs> I, don't, I don't rate men. <laughs> but what I'm saying is. Honestly, looks are one thing, and she chose you for a reason. Can you do some things to accentuate, to be better? Of course, yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? We all can, everybody can. But I feel like looks is not the main thing. You know what I'm saying? Because you already have her, you have her. So the looks is already, I think you're already kind of like Sakira. I think what the problem is, is like there's other things that you may be like not paying attention to and because of that she may be just nitpicking at things mm -hmm. just because she's not 
she she doesn't feel satisfied in certain areas you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and because of that there's like some type of tension like some type of so you gotta have to figure that out like you have to pay attention to, to those times mm -hmm. that you have to take control and you have to take and it's little things it's little things mm -hmm. it's like okay what do you want to eat we're going here mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like you already have it all made up and it doesn't matter what she says we're gonna go here mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. not because you're trying to control her not be, but you know you took into you took into consideration what she likes and you took in, into consideration what you like and it's not only about her and she feels that mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying when yeah. you just let her decide everything and just go with everything okay okay whatever you want whatever you want you're not taking control there's no control she got control mm -hmm. but that's not the natural order of things you understand mm -hmm. yeah. if a woman is in too much control that means she doesn't really fully respect you you know what I'm saying? She might love you, she might want to be with you, but she doesn't respect you. Not 100%, not all the way. She might respect you for certain things, but she doesn't respect you as a man because there's some things that, you know, you're supposed to be doing that you may not be covering. Like when I say like the whole what we're eating for dinner, that's very important. Like women don't want to choose what to eat. So they don't want to choose so that. That's when I need to make up my mind what should I feed her? Like right. her favorite or something yeah. like that. Right? You got like it's not just her favorite. What's your favorite? Oh. What's your favorite? Mm -hmm. And what's her favorite? And then you when you make the choice, it's both of our favorite. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about her and it's not just about you. It's about you two together. Mm -hmm. And then she feels like, oh shit. He's like, really paying attention to me. And he's taking control. He oh, knows what he wants. Shit, that's deep, man. He knows what he wants. It's not just about mm -hmm. you servicing her. They don't want that. Mm -hmm. They might act like they want it. They might say they want it. Mm -hmm. They might want it in a piece, but naturally, they don't want that. No. They want to be led. They want to follow you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you have to, and not all the time, sometimes you got to let her lead so it's not about you leading all the time but certain <clears throat> times when it's your time <clears throat> you lead and you lead fully mm -hmm. and then they pay attention to that they see that okay that was good tea right there and look the rain stopped bro now we could get up out of here shit motherfucker just splashed the shit out of me Okay, back at the spot. It stopped raining, but I feel like it's gonna rain again, which sucks because I wanna go back to Saigon Square so I can get some more sneakers. I definitely need a couple more pairs of those Air Force, Air Force Twos. <laughs> it's a good price, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, hello, hello V. Hello, Mark. How are you doing? I thought you would be here a little earlier. Good to see you. Yeah, what do you see? Oh, washing dishes, yeah. Oh, did you um did you get the money from me that I gave? Yes, thank you very Okay, much. okay, that's good, that's good. Did did you hear from me? I've been trying to call her, but um I haven't heard from her. Me busy, me busy. Very busy. Means busy. Me busy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand. I can't get in touch with her and she, I don't know, man. I'm getting a different vibe from this. It's a little weird. Good evening, Vietnam. What's going on, man? We in District 1 right now. So I decided to come outside to take a walk around. Check out the, uh, check out the streets of District 1, you know? Do a little walkthrough because I didn't do that yet out well at least here I haven't really done that out here since I've been back period so I decided to come walk around you know check out the vibes uh, see if we can't get into something out here I really love just walking around Vietnam see this part right here district one this is like the center of it 
This is like where all the tourists are. This is where all the clubs are. This is where, you know, everything is happening at. I've walked around a little bit, but not too much. And I definitely didn't take the camera out when I was walking around. However, I love walking around in random places out here in uh, Ho Chi Minh because I don't know, man. There's something about Vietnam that I really love, right? And I don't know if I talked about this on camera before, but there's something about Vietnam that really, like, that I respect, you know? Something about Vietnam that I really, like, love, you know what I mean? Since a kid, since ever since I can remember, I always knew about Vietnam. Why? Because, you know, I wasn't alive for the Vietnam War. However, I was born a little shortly after it. You know what I mean? So in school, I learned about it. All the movies was 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 about Vietnam. I seen tons of movies on Vietnam. I read a lot of books on Vietnam. Um, and I always respected the, the fight of the people. How, you know, they stood up to America. You know what I mean? How, a little country like this stood up to big bad America and really served too, like, you know what I'm saying? Really put it up, put numbers up. So I always respected that about Vietnam. I always respected how they stood up to the, to the, to the bullet. You know what I'm saying? Um, I also, coming up in Chinatown, uh, bro, all my biggest enemies were the Vietnamese. BTK, we had so much drama with the Vietnamese gang, and you know, they, yo, like serious drama. Like, they killed a couple people that I know, uh, always constant war, like, you know what I'm saying? But even your enemies, man, if they official, you gotta respect them. And I respect the shit out of them, even though it was so much drama with them, even though they like killed more than three of my friends. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I have a, a really deep respect for them because they don't take no shit, man. And, and, and they, they fighters, bro. They got that fighting spirit. So you got to respect them. Even in Chinatown, when, when the Vietnamese came after the war to Chinatown in New York, they were... They weren't, they weren't respected. Like, the Chinese had it under lock and key. You know what I'm saying? All the Chinese gangs, the ghost shadows, the flying dragons, all of that. They had that shit locked down. All the associations. And they didn't have a place for the Vietnamese. So when the Vietnamese came after the war as refugees and they brought them to Chinatown, they really didn't have a place. And the Chinese wasn't trying to give them a place either. You know what I'm saying? So they really fought for their spot. They really had to fight for their shit. And they definitely did that. They definitely fought. And now that I'm in Vietnam and here, and I'm living here, and I really get to see the vibes, you know what I mean? I feel like, man, I still feel that vibe, right? In a different way. Cause I, the first country that I went to when I came into Asia, it was Thailand. First country I went to in Asia was Thailand. When I went there, even as soon as I landed on a plane, when I went to the airport, when I, when I got in the airport, all you seen was foreigners. You seen a shitload of old white men. You seen like, you know, and then when I got into Thailand, you could just tell how they just opened the doors for foreigners and kind of let them do as they wish kind of let them take over the country. You know what I'm saying? Uh, same with Philippines too. Philippines was like, like that, westernized. But here, it's different, bro. Here, you can tell, like, although there are a lot of foreigners, right? Um, you can tell that they just don't let anybody open up shop out here. You know what I mean? And they control it, the country. You know what I mean? They didn't sell out. Vietnam did not sell out. So that's what I really love about it. Thank you. And they keep the culture, like they keep the tradition. Don't worry, I'm not filming y'all. And they keep the, they keep the tradition, like the, the tradition of Vietnam, 
can still see it, you know, even though the city is growing, it's developing, you can still see the culture of Vietnam. And I, I respect that, it's not gentrified, you know what I'm saying? And I respect that. That's one of the main reasons why I decided to come here and like put my base here because of, uh, because of that. It's actually a good time to walk around right now because it's not that hot. <clears throat> if we would have did this at like fucking 10 o'clock, oh my God. Face would have been so dripping. Such a vibe, y'all. Such a vibe. So, sushi tea. You see the buildings? It's like on some French French vibes because French colonized Vietnam back in the day. Hey. Hello. What's up, man? How you doing? Hello, man. Nice How to you meet you, bro. Nice to Yo, meet you, what's up? How you doing there? Ah, just walking around and shit, checking it out. Nice. What, what's this? What is this right here? It's um, a beauty salon brand, massage parlor. It's a massage parlor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, a, it's a beauty salon? I see a barber shop. Yeah, beauty salon. Hair, hair cuts and stuff like that. Yeah, hair yeah, cuts yeah. and stuff? Yeah, I mean, been, been, and massage parlor too. <laughs> been, 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 get you. Come in here, bro, man. Come check it out, brother, man. Come check it out. Oh yeah, I'm down. Yeah. Your spot? Yeah, man, it's my spot, man. Oh no doubt. What's your name? I'm Vince, bro. Vince, nice to meet you, nice bro. Nice to meet you, brother. Yes, yeah. sir. Come so, through, brother. Hello. Wow. Wow. I feel like I'm in rush hour right now. So yeah, it's a, a barber shop and uh, massage massage parlor. Oh, it's a massage parlor too. Yeah, yeah. I don't really need a haircut right now, but uh, I could. Maybe get a massage. Massage? Yeah, right. Hook you up. Yeah, man. that's dope. That's dope. I can just pick. You pick, right? Yeah. Hmm. Uh. Her. Yes. One more. And one more. I get two, huh? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll jump if you want, brother. They're hiding back there, so I'm guessing they don't want to. They're hiding. And her. Yeah. All right, I pick my two. I pick my players. Sounds good, brother. Great. Yeah, and then we'll, we'll give you a massage. That's dope. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you? Hello, what's your name? My name is Mun Mun. Mun Mun. Yeah. Mac. Yeah. Nice, nice to, to meet, you. meet you. I like your outfit. Everybody yeah. just. What's your name? Koi, Mac. Nice to meet you. And you hungry, brother? Uh, I'm gonna order some food. Yeah. some food here. Oh yeah, that'd be dope. Maybe some pho. Or... Some pho. Do pho? Yeah, I love pho. Huh? Chicken or beef? Pho. Um, beef. Beef? Yeah. Uh, you have first, let me drop that, right? Alright, thank you, brother. Uh, later, do you want ear clean? Ear, ear clean? clean? Yeah. Mm. Do you want? Yeah, why not? Okay, you need change clothes first. Change. Yeah, change. Okay, cool. Let me put this down. Oh, oh there's a vibe right here. She's focused. <laughs> Hello. No, no, no. <laughs> what we got over here, bro? Same bro, some fun, man. 
哦。Bro, she's dope. I'm, I'm gonna be coming here every every week now. Uh, how you enjoyed it so far? But you, you actually didn't do the from the start. So What's what, the start? So normally, normally the boys would come through, and then you get a you get a shave. You, know, you look you look like me when you come through, right? You look like this mate, just right. all over the joint, right? Right. They fix you up, get a nice barbered cut, get a new haircut. And then That's the whole experience. Yeah, and then come through the, then get a then get a hair wash, uh -huh. a hair wash room, right? So they massage your your face and your head and all that kind of stuff, and it's really relaxing, you know what I mean? Oh. And, then, and then by that time when you're done, then you come up and have a steam or sauna, so you feel nice and yeah, nice and nice, nice and relaxed, and then come through and then do a massage. Oh, that's... right, right. And then do a massage. I'll, I'll come back. I'm gonna bring my friend here. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna bring my friend here. And do the he full, gonna get a full. Do the full. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Your nails cut. Get your nails cut. Your, your Everything. Pedicure, pedicure, and then you come out like. Brand new. Brand new bar. It's a bar. It's a bar. I feel like a new man. <laughs> that was amazing right there, man. Bye -bye. I feel like a new man. I'm coming with you? Uh -huh. Oh, we out. Oh, we out. That was amazing. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting that. I'm waiting for this new episode to drop, but I'm sick as fuck right now, bro. I've been trying to upload this video, but it's not uploading. The Wi-Fi is sucks. And I can't get up and upload it. I can't go outside and upload it. And so, y'all gonna have to wait until I get better. I should be better next week, though. I'll catch y'all there. Peace. Whew. All right, so Lucy is here to give me my first Vietnamese class. 
my first lesson. Lucy! Yo! Yo! Shut up, dog. Shut your ass up, dog. Woo. What's up, Lucy? Is the dog bothering you? I'm gonna die for sick. What's up, Lucy? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I get it. I got it. I got it. Hello. Ah. All right, I'm ready to learn some Vietnamese, Lucy. I got a pad. I got a pad and I got some pens. Okay, good. You will to learn, yeah. Yeah, I got your message, so I'm prepared. Nothing's compare like an AC. Oh. Wait, hold on. Does people, does normal like uh, Vietnamese households have AC? It's a normal to for Vietnamese. My, I have like three ACs in my house. Oh, okay. All right, where's my notebook? Here. I got a notebook. I got a pen. Mm -hmm. Are you going to? <laughs> I, I don't think you're going to convert the light. <laughs> oh, you thought I was gonna do what? I don't think you're gonna hold the cereals like these body cereals. That's really like, Oh, like her, an advertisement. Uh, yeah, like an advertisement. Like no. what her says. No, it's organic. Fine. <laughs> it's to hold the camera. All right, girl. Let's get to it. So at least I know two words now, and I, I know it pretty, pretty good. Jiao. Is it, wait, is it Jiao? Wow. Jiao. Jiao. No? Jiao. 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 Uh-huh. Oh, Jiao. Jiao. Come sit here like a Vietnamese. How the fuck are you gonna, you going to study when you sit in a coach? What? You, oh, you sit in a sofa. Right. Jiao. Jiao. Xin. 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 Jiao. Yeah, jiao. that's right. Xin First jiao. word. Xin jiao. Xin jiao. Xin jiao. What, what is these lines on the thing? What? Oh, you know, first of all, Accents, the it's really important. Like, cause in Vietnamese, we also use alphabet, but we use the alphabet, but like A B C, A B A B C D, just like in normal English. For example, we have A, A like a. this, A, but normal A is like here, but A, eh? A, eh? eh. so it goes up, A, eh? A, eh. A. Eh? Eh? Eh. Okay, watch your mouth. Eh. Yeah. Eh. 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 Then it's like there's a dot. Eh. 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 Number two. Gam. O. Gam O. Gam O. Gam O. Gam. Gam O. So. Gam O. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Gam o. Gam. Gam. It's thank you. Gam. Vietnamese. Gam. Well, I'm trying to say the jiao, right? It's jiao. Not jiao, but jiao. Jiao. Yeah. Jiao. 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 Oh yeah, this is so weird. Jiao. Sounds like a duck. Xin jiao. And over here. Gam o. What's this one? Tam big. Gam. Dam. Dam bi. Dam bi. Dam bi. What that mean? It means goodbye. Dam bi. So, xin jiao, thank you. Uh-huh. Come, oh no, no, xin jiao is hello, right? Xin mm -hmm. jiao. 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 Yeah. Xin jiao. 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 Yeah. Oh, uh, come on. Uh-huh. And dam bi. Uh-huh, So, yeah. it's thank you. It's thank you. And... What'd you say? Uh... M O T what? Am I didn't think? If, if, why you say that when you want to get get the bills? Why like you finish your dying now like you want to get the bills? You know you want to get the bills to say paychecks. Usually like I want to get abused. Oh no no, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. yeah paycheck 
I want to get the bill. Oh, bill, sorry. You said get the views. I'm like, what the fuck? What type of fucking TV shit are you on? Oh, teach me a curse word. Huh? I already fake no one though. Do, do ma, do ma, do ma me, do ma me. Is that, did I say it right? Do ma, do ma. Learning like basic word is hard, but curse is really easy. Do, do ma. I'm about to learn Vietnamese, y'all. My name about to be Vietnamese Mac. Vietnamese Ma, baby. Lucy, you got a big old head. Look at this big ass head. Because <laughs> I'm smart. Henry it's said, yeah. Henry you said you got a big head with a little brain. Fuck Henry. Fuck Henry. Fuck Yo, what's going on with you guys? What? What's what? I don't know. What do you mean? Well, I had like... a very interesting conversation with Henry the other day. What did you guys say about? Are you talk shit Yo, about me? Yo, let me ask you a question. Uh, I think he, yeah, a little bit. Well, I didn't talk shit. Henry talked all the shit. Mm -hmm. Let me show you shit. Where's my phone? I don't know. It's right there. <sighs> you got two phones too? Oh uh, yeah, I got two oh, phones. Oh, you a trapper. Are you a drug dealer? No. <laughs> Why do you have two phones? She has two phones. Only two phones. Only players and trappers. Which one are you? Are you a drug dealer or are you a player? <laughs> Maybe the drug dealer. The drug dealer. What are you wait. showing me, girl? Wait, wait. I'm wait. asking you a question. Is do, is Henry gay? Just look at the pictures. This is my birthday. Fuck that. What the hell is that? Do you think Henry gay? Why are you sitting there looking like that? <laughs> okay. Why do you look like that? Why look at that face? That because, face is scary as hell. Because I don't know. I don't know. What, like, I'm just staring like, what the fuck you guys are doing? But, yeah, because like, in our relationships, we, we, joke, we, joke, we joke like that every single day. So it's common sense. So we think that it's hilarious. So is he gay? No. He's not gay. Maybe, maybe, yeah, have you maybe, ever... maybe, maybe, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> because like, you know, like... How do you not know? That's your whole boyfriend. You don't know? I know that sometimes he's joking, but because like, he, he talks too much about us. So maybe it's making me feel sometimes like, is he really gay? You really feel like that? Is he, like, sometimes you really think like that? Well, how long, like, if you're a man, like, I know that you're trying to be funny, but... What the fuck are you trying to say that? Like, you being gay, like, 80% of the time you go and hang out with me. What the fuck with that? So, he jokes about that a lot. Mm -hmm. I actually had a conversation with him about that. Really? Yeah. What did he say? Um, I told him that he sh I don't know. I told him that, like, I, I don't joke gay at all. And it's not that because I have an issue with gay people mm -hmm. or, like, I'm not secure in my manhood. It's just that... I don't think straight men should really joke gay because you never know. Other people might listen and other people might get the wrong perception of you. You know what I mean? Or even if it's your girlfriend, like you just said. If I jo even if it's my girlfriend and I'm joking around with my girlfriend, gay jokes all the time. In the back of her mind, she may think that there's something that... What's going on? Right. That's not correct. Right. So I, just as, as rule of thumb, I don't joke gay at all. But I told him about that, and um, and yeah, he. What did he say? What did he say? He said okay. Henry took me to uh, some. It's like a really nice place, all the way on a on a roof, like yeah. forty eight floor or something, all the way up, or seventy eight floor. Is I think it was more seventy eight floor. Is this a landmark? Yeah, landmark. landmark he said landmark. that you guys went there for your birthday. Oh. You guys go to the White Lounge. It's really beautiful, right? Yeah. He also said that uh, you guys went there on your birthday and um, uh, you said that you were going to pay for the whole bill and uh, he ended up having to pay. Fuck him. <laughs> okay, so about <coughs> it's like long short story. Like at that day, because like I say that it's all in the house for me. It's all in the house, so 
freely to choose but my card i don't know what happened to it trying to pay with another payment but like it doesn't work because like all the all the my bank that's linking to all the account just like boom up not available so i asked henry to um, yeah for the money and yeah it's like okay i'm gonna pay for you but i didn't expect that he's gonna tell you that and he's gonna telling with everybody that we know so does that upset you i think i'm working like it's, working it's annoying about. yeah it's right. annoying well, I seen him two times, right? Mm -hmm. I seen him when we went scooter shopping. Mm -hmm. And that day when we went upstairs to the landmark, mm -hmm. he said that he basically, because I asked him how you guys met or whatever. And then he basically explained it. And then um, he said that you are known as like the bitch in school. <laughs> like, I used are, to. are you the okay. bitch? <laughs> now that's a real question. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, so I used to be, but honestly, I used to be a bitch. I cannot lie, deny it. Like a bitch, how? Like how is you a bitch? I used to be a bitch, like oh, I'm arrogant. How do you say that? Arrogant. Arrogant, yeah, arrogant bitch. Like in the in university in the first year, and when you like step into the your school and everyone start looking at you, that's the bitch. You, what do you call? Mean girls, oh yeah. I used to like hang out in the rooms. So only mean girls that hang out. But times at the times I. But did you feel like you were better than people or something? That's. That's yeah. yeah. I have to admit that I I do feel like that. What well, what made you feel better than people? Just because like I'm not like I'm. I'm working since I'm a first year, so because I'm go outside society too soon, sooner than everyone in my school. So I think that because I work too soon, so I know better and I have more experience. So I became so. And also, you speak English. You were speaking English back then. Oh yeah, I was speaking. So that probably also. Oh, it's not like it's all. Are you still like that? No, not like that. How how do you feel? Do you like still like that, Mac? I honestly don't feel. I don't. That, that's why I didn't understand. I don't feel like you're a bitch. I don't get that vibe from you. But maybe I might get another vibe from you that other people get. I don't know. I don't get the vibe. Just used to be. Not now. Like I'm going through a lot of shit. Seriously, like all the friends turn back to me, and all my like my friends, like and my college, and my even my ex boyfriend, like I learned. I learned a lot of that. So I changed. I think that I changed when I'm hearing some, something like the podcast in the YouTube, like just like you, influencer like you. So they start to share about the experience they have dealing with, and I'm starting hearing it, and like, wow, just like me, I need to change that bad, a shit bad. I don't right. Think. But that's good though. That's good because yo, bro, everybody has like things that are not good. But as long as you make the effort to change. And I feel like you have, so, you know, um, he, he, see, I had a couple conversations with Henry and me, I don't know, for some reason, me and Henry conversations begin a little deep, you know what I'm saying? Um, just he like, did, just like the conversations now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he did say that he felt like, you know, I don't know, he said he felt like you don't really respect him like really? that. Some, I, that. He said that sometimes. Yeah. Well, and then maybe I must do something wrong from him. Like I don't know. Like because myself, I see in my perspective. How about his perspective? I don't know. But it's like I'm glad that he told you and you told me about that. I just reason it on. Right, and I'm not trying to start no trouble. I'm really just trying to like, you know, cause I see like Henry. He's a good guy. I, I like him. He's a good guy. Like, you know, I think you guys make a good couple. I think you guys are good. But I feel like the dynamic, there's something missing between you guys. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, and when he says that the whole respect thing, I don't think it's like you're being disrespectful, but I think there's like certain things that Henry may not be like, you know, 
he may not really even know how to do it. And a lot of people, like a lot of our fathers and a lot of our like, you know, they never taught us how to do certain things, how to be a man in a relationship, how to do that. Like A lot of us don't know how to do that. So I feel like maybe he 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 kind of like understands that that he's lacking in some ways but he just doesn't know what and i feel like maybe you even f maybe feel like that right but you don't know how to tell him and i feel like because of that there'd be like some issues and shit mm. probably like you know in this situation is really annoying me but because I hurt, I, I'm scared, I'm really scared because I'm not angry. I scared when I share this like, this inside talk. I don't think he gonna um, see it in a really good way. You know, like he gonna, I, I, I scared that I'm gonna touch his ego. Hmm. You're scared. So there's some things that you don't tell him? Hmm, yeah. I guess like the things is really, it's, I, I, the, the whole story is really normal like he's for my birthday uh, I don't have enough money so I, I borrow him some money for pay and then I will repay him again because like me and Henry we student we just third year student I work and he also have to work for and to have money to pay for our tuitions so I cannot use his money if I borrow, I'm gonna pay it like in the next day or when my payment payroll checks. But like the the things that he keep bragging about, like oh he's the one, he's the man, he's carrying the bills, and he share it all the all the people that we know. So it's giving me like he's going like it's all about his ego, not about like he paying because he loved me. I think that's the some more things that he's missing. I feel like he's paying because he loves you, but also he's also filling up his ego too. Because like he's young, you guys are young, so like there's certain things that he just doesn't understand, and he thinks that that is like what like a manly thing. So he kind of like wears it on his chest. But you know he's growing. You know what I'm saying? I think you should you shouldn't be so hard on him about that. Like you know he he like. Yeah, I'm sure he'll understand. Maybe you could talk to him. I might tell him something. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you got to give a person a chance to grow. And like, you know, because just like you grew, like when you were a bitch and shit. And <laughs> like, you know, and you grew. Mm -hmm. So you got to also like give him the opportunity to grow. Yeah. Okay, I, got, I think I got to give it a shot. Yeah, you guys got to... You guys gotta get it together, like, you know, it's cool, it's the, like normal shit. And like, again, you guys are mad young, so you can't expect him to be perfect, and he can't expect you to be perfect. You guys are still learning, and you guys just gotta fucking, you know, communicate. You shouldn't hold anything back. Honestly, that's a bad thing. Like, you shouldn't care about his ego. But you shouldn't tell him, like, in a, in like a, you should be careful how you tell him, but you should never hold it back. Because if you hold it back, he won't know. He won't know what the hell you're thinking about. Like, so if you're just not saying it to him, that's not fair for him. And it's not fair for you because he'll keep on doing it. You know what I'm saying? And then you'll be more resentful to him because he keeps on doing it. But you never told him. So how the hell would he know to, like, adjust it? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Ciao. Right. <laughs> why, why, why are you so deep shit about the conversation? <laughs> okay, let's get back with the Vietnamese lesson. Okay. Okay, so you got everything? Okay, I got all my package. Uh, it's actually a purse, but. Hey, okay, whatever you say, bye. <laughs> Thanks for the lesson today, though. No problem. I needed that. Yo, that's the landlord. Excuse me, Mr. Landlord. Mr. Landlord. Um, can I ask you a question? Did you receive the deposit from me? Lucy, please, can you ask him if he got the deposit from me? Okay. Uh, chú ơi, cho con hỏi là mình đã nhận được cái tiền cọc mà hôm bữa ông mấy ông đưa cho chú chưa? À, có số tiền cọc mà 2 tháng đó là chú có nhận được rồi. Yeah. Nhưng mà theo... Thế thì ông chỉ ở với 2 tháng thôi, phải dùng đi chứ. Đúng không? À, à rồi, 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 rồi. Dạ, con cảm ơn chú nha. Oh, shit. What? What? What did he say? He said that he did receive for the first deposit, but not the second one. Oh, 
But did he ask for the deposit? He didn't ask it. Just like I'm just, just like I'm just like in the uh, for the last time. He didn't ask it. Fuck. So what else did he say? He said you have to move out for two because like the end of the lease, two months. That's crazy, yo. Oh shit. Fuck. Okay.